Hey everyone, Dan here from the Time of Minecraft. Welcome back to Pixelmon on the private whitelisted Pixel Course server where today we are staring at this fence post a little bit. So um, I've been doing a little bit of playing off a camera and we hooked up with Justin because he hooked us up with... A very cool couple of Pokemon. So you know that I've been searching for an Eevee for about three episodes. So over three weeks I've been trying to find an Eevee and they are just so, so rare that it just hasn't happened. And instead we went exploring in the last episode and we found a, a Growlithe, a Nidoqueen and a Smeagol and captured them all as well. And they are looking amazing. Now what I do want to do in the end is get Growlithe up to an Arcanine and he only takes a Firestone to be able to do so. And we do have another one even though we made one of these fiery soul orbs. Um, Nidoqueen is already a Nidoqueen and level 35 and stuff. So I just want to see what moves she's got. Pretty terrible moves, to be honest. We might want to breed and then retrain up this one. Um, and then we've got Smeagol as well, who just has Sketch. And it permanently learns the move last used by the target. Once used, Sketch disappears. Okay, um, interesting. Interesting little Smeagol there. I have no idea what to make about that one, but um, we need to heal these bad boys right now. And um, last time we also found a Moltres statue, which means the with this Orb of Fiery Souls, when we've killed 300 and something different, I think it's close to 350 different Pokemon, um, this will be filled, then we can take it over exactly in the same way we did with Zapdos when it was up here. Um, exactly the same way we did that, we can make the Orb of Fiery Souls and then summon in Moltres and try and capture it. Now, the only problem with that compared to when we captured Zapdos is we only have five Ultra Balls, so we definitely need to start making some more of those. Now, how did we make an Iron Base? How did you make an Iron Base? I've completely forgotten. Oh well. Um, yeah, I've completely forgotten. Let me see. Uh, iron... let's do Iron Base. Awesome machine base. Iron base. I can't remember how to make one. I think you might have to use it on an anvil and then smash an iron ingot. I'm not too sure. But anyway, we'll figure that out later on because we're not capturing Moltres today. Obviously, we still need to grind up this orb of fiery souls. It takes absolutely forever. So, I've teased it at the beginning of the episode. Justin helped us out with a couple of Pokemon. So, let's have a look at what they are. They are these, well, couple, kind of two different types, but three in total. Two Eevees and a Ditto. Yes, this is apparently James's Ditto, because um, when you capture Mew, you can do something in terms of Mewtwo, and then if you fail it, you get a Ditto. And I'm pretty sure James did that to get a couple of Ditto. So this is James's, but hey, we got to borrow it for a little bit. And we also got a couple of Eevees as well, thanks to Justin. I'm sure these have been bred because they're level one each, basically. So this means we can get a Leafeon, but first, um, which one has the experience share? Um, oh dear, I can't remember which Pokemon has experience share on it. Which one could it be? Um, maybe Aerodactyl? No, it wasn't Aerodactyl. Oh geez, which one's it gonna be? It might be Sableye. No, it's not Sableye. Uh, Pidgeot, maybe? Uh, nope. Oh man, where's my experience share? It might be in one of these chests, actually. Let's have a quick look. I can't even remember what experience share looks like. X... Experience share. Oh yeah, it's like the little hat thing. Um, oh dear. <clears throat> I'm gonna need that if I want to level up my Eevee a little bit quicker. There it is. I knew it was somewhere. I didn't think I'd have lost it on a Pokemon. So let's put this back and then we need Growlithe. Um, I think I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna switch out Smeagol for now and grab one of the Eevees and then whack an experience share on it. So there we go. Have uh, that wrong Pokemon. <laughs> Have this Eevee, you little punk. And we need to go and smack down some Pokemon. Oh my goodness, we've got some quite weaker Pokemon now, like we've got Gloom, Zapdos is our most powerful, Nidoqueen is kind of powerful, Growlithe is definitely not. So we need to pretty much just take out some Pokemon. Now I think the best way to do that is to go ahead and teleport to some of the coordinates that we found in the previous episode. So I am going to teleport over to the Pokemon Center. So if we do TP and then this, then we are going to head to the Pokemon Center, yay, yay, this is the one we stole from. But no one knows. 
no one knows. So yeah, we are gonna head in. Which direction did we go from last time? There's Growlist around here. I think we should go across the desert. Now, I also looked up Ditto's spawn rate just to find one normally, and his spawn rate is less than half of a percent. So it's 0.297%, which is tiny. So, man, we're never going to be able to find one, so it's so good that we got Ditto. It would be awesome to have two, because when you breed two Dittos, you don't get a Ditto baby. What you actually get is one random Pokemon. So it could be... at Absolutely anything. Oh, I wonder what that was for a second. It's a Marowak. Hello, Marowak. How are you doing? I'm scared. I am scared. Right, let's take Flygon in. Um, oh, geez. He missed. He missed. Right, Marowak, come here. I need to fight you. You're level 77. Let's use Earthquake. Was that not good? Earthquake? It was okay. Oh, my goodness. I thought it would be better than that. Um, we're just going to have to keep on using Earthquake because that's the uh, item. i have got Choice Scarf, I think we have. So let's just keep on going, keep on going. Flygon is so powerful. Get out of here. Give me some good stuff. Give me some good stuff. We got... Oh, Eevee grows to level 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14. Oh my goodness. 18? What? I don't want to... No, I don't want to learn Growl. Are you joking? I want to give up on Growl. Uh, quick attack. Uh, go instead of Tail Whip. Bite. Instead of sand attack. Nice. So we got a nest ball, retaliate, and wave incense. I have no idea what these do. Um, oh, geez. I should have emptied myself. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's get rid of the crafting. Let's get rid of the pork chops. We don't actually need those. Um, crafting table can go as well. I don't know what the wave incense does. I said, I said essence, didn't I? I don't know what wave incense does. I have no idea. Oh, there's another boss here. It's a giant shan- I, was, I couldn't even say it then. Sand Shrew. Come here, Sand Shrew. Hey, Flygon wants to deal the hurt to you, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. Another level 77. Right, let's see how we can do with this one. Not too bad. Maybe I should have used Kabutop. Should have brought him with me. Come on. Please live. Please live. Please live. Poison Sting. And get out of here. There we go. What have we got? Eevee's gonna level up. 21. Covet. You, you, okay. And then steals the hell. Okay, let's get rid of helping hand. We got a, a razor fang and a nest ball. Interesting. Um, let's get rid of this cobblestone. I just want to keep the razor fang. I don't really want to keep the other thing. But hey, I think we've got it. Right, we're going to need to teleport back, actually. So, oh, I've forgotten the coordinates. Uh, give me a sec. <laughs> Okay, we are back. Now, I need to empty a load of stuff out because we've got so much stuff. Uh, as usual, right? Let's get rid of these gems, gold ore, mossy stone, bauxite ore. Oh, I got more of that. I completely forgot about that. Um, razor fang, retaliate, choice. Wait, I got two choice scarves. Nice. Okay, that, I'll, I'll deal with that. Um, oh, another thing we need to do is we found some books. So we can actually make some bookshelves now. How many can we make, though? Six? I think we can make six. Nice. Not too shabby, guys. Not too shabby at all. Let's make those, and then we need to make a few more pieces of wood. There we go. And across there. La, 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 la. Nice. Okay, so we have six bookshelves there. And how many do we have in here? 11. That's 17. And then the enchanting table. So we still need more. We still need loads more. Oh my goodness. It's so hard. So hard to get all this stuff. Right. Um, let me just check how much leather. There's one more book here. Bit random, but okay. Uh, we had... Got a moonstone as well. That's nice and random. I had some leather somewhere. Uh, one second. One second. Where is it? It is somewhere around here. Oh, have I already got a razor fang? Oh, that's kind of annoying. I didn't know I already had one. Um, where is my leather? Did I put it in here? What? Where are they gone? My leather. Oh, it's right on me. Oh my goodness, I am so dumb. So dumb. Right, let me see how much it is for a book. So, um, right. We just need one leather and three paper. Okay. I'm trying to see if we've got any sugar cane left over. If we have, that'd be awesome. If not, we've got some growing. So we've got some here. Um, let's go and grab the rest of it. I just want to shave off all the top of this. Actually, that's a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Oh my goodness. We might actually... Oh, we might be able to do this. 
today possibly well let me grab that i'm loving the way this whole thing looks by the way uh with the the the, the diglets all colored in looking fantastic looking absolutely fantastic right let's go to this crafting table and make some paper well there's a lot of paper um we have eight books from that that doesn't give us that much though that gives us nine so that gives us three extra ones one, two, three. Uh, three more bookshelves. That makes a total of 20. Now, you need 30, right? For 30 levels, or is it 20? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. It might not even be that much. Anyway, we don't want to do that today. We are going to go back and teleport to do a little bit more exploring and taking out of said Pokemans. And now it is a little bit lighter, so... What was that? There was something interesting over there. But anyway, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of exploring today. And then in the next episode, we will sort out the Golden Diglet because the own, it's only got the front of the Golden Diglet on. And then we can make the whole of the, um, the whole of the entire thing, the enchanting room. It should be awesome. And let's see what we can find. What is this? What is this? A oh! Um, okay. Oh, nice. I got a Thunderstone. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I just saw these sparkles and I was like, what is this? And then I zoomed in and it was, it had the thing on the, um, the item bit at the top where I'm looking at the grass block now. And it just said poker chest. So I looted it. I just clicked right click and it gave me a Thunderstone. That's pretty fantastic. I'm liking it. Okay. I'm not going to complain about that. But look where we are. We're in like some kind of field or something. We're in the plains biomes. Now... Another thing that we do need to find, considering we want to turn this Eevee into a Leafeon, is we need to level it up near something called a Moss Rock. Now, oh my goodness, there's another Pokemon Center. Yes, give me them books. Give me them books. Oh, there's some Mill Tank over here as well. Let's take these guys out too. Right, let's take out these Mill Tanks for some leather. Yeah! There we go, right. Earthquake. Oh no, uh, Dragon Claw is going to have to be... Get out of here, there we go, nice. Uh, these chubby Mill Tanks are going to get served. Oh man, come here. Give me your milk. Give me your milk, sucker. Ah, oh, they keep moving. Ah. No. There we go. Jeez. Right. Dragon Claw. Get out of here. Uh, two leathers. Nice. Where did the others go? They have disappeared. They disappeared. Anyway, let's go into this Pokemon Center. There's not going to be anything different than the last time. Oh, there's some over here. But, oh jeez, there's a whole family of them. Let's destroy them all. Uh, it's a level 10. That's not too bad. Right. I don't know if we're going to need these books afterwards, but we're going to have a nice source of leather, actually. So, you know what? Let's just take them all out. There we go. Three leather from that one. Nicely done, Flygon. Nicely done. These guys are fighting like crazy. Okay, let's take out this guy. Uh, fight Dragon Claw. Nice. Take him out. Eevee's going to level 22. Very nice indeed. I'm just going to leave them to it. So, we've got 25 leather. Did we just get that from that? Whoa! That's loads. We just used all our leather. Okay, let me go in here. Oh, geez, that looks cool. Um, I just want to grab these boogies right here. Uh, there we go. Nice. Oh, actually, oh, I don't have a, I don't have a silk touch pick. No, that would have been amazing if I could just steal the bookshelves. But you know what? There were six bookshelves there, so six times three is six to eighteen. Oh, we've got eighteen books anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You can get everything. You get everything back that you um. I did took apart from the apart from the wood so that's actually not too bad okay i've seen something interesting over here hey gatsby 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 how are you doing sir are you are you oh geez no only only i didn't mean it i didn't mean it right let's go and do a little bit more exploring we're definitely generating new chunks because it is lagging um there's a few different Hmm, there's a few. Look at that Voltorb. That Voltorb is rolling weird. <laughs> there's a few Borksite ores down there, but I don't know if it's going to be good enough to get it. We can just come back for those. I don't think we need any just yet. We've got 12. How much do we need for a ranch, actually? Let me just quickly check. Ranch. We need... Just for a piece of six. So we've got enough for two more ranches, which isn't too bad. I just want to see if we can find any new Pokemon to add to our collection before we need those extra ranches. But it looks like we're still in the same biome. So if we run into the trees, watch out for the Ekans, watch out for the Arbok. And then there's a Spearow. Okay, we don't want a Spearow. If I see a Chattel, I must try and catch it. I must do. 
It is my destiny. Oh, geez, the lag is real. The lag is real. Oh, my goodness. I think I'm pushing it too far. A Caterpie. Oh, man. Like, literally everyone's first wild Pokemon. A Caterpie. I saw something interesting up here. Okay, this is too bad. It wasn't that interesting. <laughs> Not that interesting at all. Hopefully, I don't damage the server by doing this. Because I'm going far. I'm going really far. Okay, there's a Hypno. There's some Coal. I don't think I need Coal, to be honest. I don't think I do. Do a cheeky... There's a Jigglypuff down there. Is there any Bauxite? I'm just looking a little bit out for Bauxite right now. There's a Wigglytuff as well. They're kind of cute. I kind of like those two Pokemon. Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. Very cute indeed. Anything else around here that I might want to see? Oh, 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 look what we found. I don't think we found a sand one yet. I'm assuming this is going to have one of those gem things inside. So let's get rid of the trade machine. I don't know why I brought that with me, actually. That must be heavy. Jeez, right, let's check this out. This looks amazing. This sandstone, that looks so cool. Right, let's see if we can grab this. What is it going to be? It is blocked. There we go. I found a ground hollow gem. Um, I really wish that we could grab these. If we could grab this GS ball, that would be insanely good. I would just love to have one. Uh, what are you doing? No, Mega Drain. Get, oh, geez. Oh, geez. Careful. There we go. Mega Drain. Get out of here. He held on with Sturdy. That Gloom almost knocked him straight out. Gloom is growing levels as well. My goodness. My goodness. Right. I haven't really found too much interesting so what i think i'm gonna do is go back to the house and start setting up for next episode which is where we're gonna make our enchanting room inside our big fat golden diglet is gonna be amazing uh it's kind of nighttime the pokemon spawns are a little bit similar depending on what well in any biome they're all kind of similar because it's nighttime which is a little bit annoying Oh, you know what? Can you get a Porygon? Oh my goodness, right. I need to go home. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I'm just typing in the chat. I wanted to TP. There we go. Let's get out of here. And what we're going to do now is... Why is that in there? Come back here. Come back here. There we go. Is there any more on the trees? Don't want to be missing out on any sugar canes. Uh, we need those to grow. Uh, I need that to get out of here. No, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Um, oh, we have so many orbs as well. My goodness. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I want to fly up to... I want to fly up there. Okay, let's go. Fly gone. Let's go to the golden diglet. Here we go. I need a better way to get to there. A little bit easier. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Right. Fly gone. There we go. Let's see what we've got in here already. It's... Oh, God, it's a bit of a mess. Um, let me think how I want to do it. Do I just want to straight up walk in and then have it right there? So, let's take this sand for now. And then I walk in. That's where the table would be. And then, oh, no, it has to be. It's going to have to be a little bit underground. Because otherwise, the golden diglet is going to be a little bit of the wrong shape. So, it's going to have to be down. <laughs> it's going to have to be down a little bit. Uh, maybe we could make... I don't know. We need, like, a cool way to get down first. And then we can get to our enchanting room. So, this is where it's going to be. And I need to make all of this into gold. St not gold. Into um, yellow stained clay. Gold would be amazing, but I don't think I have enough gold for that. What does gold look like? Uh, it looks like bricks. Okay, it wouldn't look that good at all. So, yeah, we've got yellow stained clay because James gave us it. So, we need to do that. And also, we need to fill it up with our... Fill it up with our actual materials. Now, I'm pretty sure we can get away with just having two layers and then see how many levels that gives us. I think we should be able to do that. But if I make the stairs go down like this, I can make them come down... Wait, do I want it to stay there? I think I might do. And then go down again this way. Yeah, we'll do it like this. I think this would be the best way. So then down like this. And then down here. Yeah, this would be perfect. And then we, like, get revealed into a lower room where we have enough room to be able to put our little enchanting table. It should be epic if we bring it down here. Yeah, it'll be awesome. So basically, shovel all this stuff out, and we should be good to go. We'll put all stairs in and stuff, and it'll look absolutely magical. Oh, geez. Be careful. Health hazards. Health hazards. So that is what we're going to do in the next episode. I just want to quickly see if you can get a Porygon in Pixelmon. So let's have a quick check. And can you? 
It does not spawn in the wild normally. Instead, it has a chance... A 1 in 100 chance of spawning a PC when a PC is crafted. What? That's insane. So it has a 1 in 100. You have a 1% chance of it spawning in when you craft the PC. That is crazy. How do you craft the PC? It's gonna. That's a lot of aluminium, isn't it? Yeah, that's a lot of aluminium. I don't know if that's going to be... You'd have to craft 100 and then each time is 1 in 100 chance. Man. Oh, this looks really cool from the sky. Look at this. Yes, our place is looking good. So let me just collect some stuff from over here. Make sure we've got our gold, golden clay ready to go. Boop. And then, yeah, there we go. Yellow stained clay. That's going to be perfect. So, yeah, that's pretty much. I think that's going to be pretty much it for today's episode, actually, guys. Apologies about that. But we did get our brand new Eevee and Dittos as well. And we need, ideally, we'd have another Ditto because that would be awesome. But for now, I think we're going to stick with one. Um, breed some Pokemon that we want to get for definite, and then we'll see from there. So next time, we are going to be making our awesome, awesome enchanting room, and then hopefully getting some Silk Touch on our pickaxe. And that's pretty much it from me. I'm also work towards more Eevee levels as well. I mean, she's already on level 22. Which is pretty insane. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy this video, then please do consider leaving a big fat thumbs up. That would be awesome. And also, if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, then please do consider subscribing and joining Team TDN today for daily Minecraft videos. Apart from that, thank you so much for playing to pick some on with me today. And I will see you all next time. Good bye!